The opportunities are amazing. Everyone is so nice and willing to help you. All the doctors, all the pharmacists, everyone, they're so willing to take time out of their busy day and sit down and talk to you. I'm interested in different things too, just to kind of see what's out there and everyone has just offered to let me shadow them and offered to put me in different places so I can get exposed to different things. And I think that's amazing because where else are you going to get that kind of treatment? For me, it's, it's like this, this mind-opening thing that has happened through this whole summer. The undergraduate pre-health program, UPP, they have two tracks. You have the Kaiser Permanente track and you have the Anschutz track. So half the students are working with Kaiser Permanente and they're they're given different, you know, they'll be in internal medicine or neurology or OBGYN or oncology. And then same thing with Anschutz. And so they find a preceptor for you. So someone who's overshadowing you for the whole summer and gives you jobs and gives you all that. I think it's important for undergrad students to shadow us, to really see the different things that pharmacists can do. Growing up, I always had a love for chemistry and I always wanted to help people, but I knew the doctor route wasn't right for me because surgery, blood, that's not really my style. I didn't really like that. So I talked a lot to my teachers growing up and professors in college. And actually one of my mentors was a pharmacist and she kind of got me into the field. And this summer I just decided to explore it a bit more. I've definitely always wanted to do medicine. You hear a lot about nursing, you hear a lot about dentistry, surgery, things like that. You don't hear a lot about pharmacy necessarily all the time. What I do when the students are with me is we will go one-on-one -on -one with patients and we'll go over their medications, go over how their blood sugar numbers are, and sort of based on that adjust medications and, and order labs if we need to. There's so much more patient and doctor or patient pharmacist interaction than what you think on the surface. I, mean, I hope that they see patients in a different light as well. I think oftentimes we just think of like the drugs and pharmacists interacting with medications, but not so much about how we interact with patients and kind of seeing patients as a whole. There is so much more you can do in pharmacy. You can go work in clinical pharmacy. You can go work in the nuclear pharmacy. Like there's so many opportunities. It's not set in stone. And I just think everything's endless. You're not gonna get bored being in pharmacy. And right now I'm also doing the sodium bicarbonate testing, which is for the hospital to determine how much sodium bicarbonate is in the injections, since there's a shortage right now. And after this, we're actually working on pig ears to see the absorption levels of different topical creams. I think a UPP students should follow a pharmacist to get a better idea of, is this really what they want to do? And it might open their eyes to something completely different they hadn't thought about before. I think that I want to go into compounding. Right now, that's my biggest interest. You don't realize how closely pharmacists have to interact with the doctor and with everybody on the team. They're a crucial person in treating any patient. For me, it's just I want to go into the medical field and it's still where.